Hey, 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 what's going on, everybody? Ryan Newple here, Nuke Sports Show, episode 229. Hope you're all doing well today. We are just under three weeks, actually three weeks from today, NFL season begins. Let's go. All of us in the sports industry are super excited for football this season. Cannot wait for it to start myself. Uh, man, it always goes so fast through the season, and then we're like, oh, where is it? And then it comes back so fast. So here it is. It's going to be here in three weeks. Excited for that. Hope you're all doing well. Um, we have another great guest on the show today. Going to touch on that in a minute. We're going to bring him on. It's going to be amazing. Uh, but first off, a little housekeeping. Um, if you're going to the SBC Summit Lisbon, enjoy. It's in September, September 24th to 26th. Should be an amazing show. We're proud media partners with SBC, so we always like to push it a little bit with them and help promote a little bit with them. Uh, if you don't have your tickets yet, please use this promo code, New Partner VIP. Uh, it's one of the better ones out there. You're going to get like 50% off your ticket. So if you are looking to go, haven't got your ticket yet, or know somebody maybe looking to go, use that um, for you. It's not for me, for you to help get a nice little discount. So uh, make sure to do that. Should be an amazing event. One of the biggest events, I think, in the world in terms of gaming. So should be awesome. All right. Football, SBC. Let's get on to our guest. As you guys know, here on the Noob Sports Show, we love to bring on amazing leaders doing amazing things in sports and in gaming and we have another one today so let's go ahead and get him on the show today we have mark sanzik of better together mark how are you i'm doing well how about you oh man doing amazing my friend doing amazing down here in orlando florida first off where, where are you from where are you living uh, i'm in a suburb outside of detroit it's called gross point uh but yeah been in grew up here born and raised here um Spent some time uh, in New York in a couple couple of years ago, about ten years ago, and then I moved back and dragged my now wife here with me, and uh, we got some kids, and so yeah, we're just settling in and in Gross Point. So, so are we Lions, Tigers, and Pistons to the core? Yeah, you can give it. The, you could say that uh, Red Wings as well. Red Wings, um, okay. Got it. Got to support the Wings. Uh, cool. Definitely, definitely Lions. It's been a, a sad state of affairs with some of our. The Detroit sports teams of late, but you know, the Lions are are putting them all on their back and and uh we're really good year this year. They're they're uh you know we're not here talking sports all day, but I could talk sports all day, but that should be a good season for them, I think. Yeah, I think we we finally are over the same old Lions curse. I know I'm I'm jinxing it just by saying that, but you know, I've I've been part of the reason you know, I would get into fantasy was to avoid having to focus all of my negative attention on some sad Lions teams. And so the way around that is to to be active and be involved, invested in, in some of the, the fantasy players out there to avoid having to cry over another <laughs> heartbreaking, horrible, terrible, wild. Yep. Um, you know. Uh, we all know we all we all feel that pain in the as sports fandom and all the above. Yeah, it's uh, we all wish our teams were better. Yeah, but I got I have a lot of hope and a lot of faith in them this year. Cool. Awesome. Well, Marco, uh, I'm excited to dive into better together and understand what you're up to there. But first off, I want to hear about you. What uh, I heard a little bit about where you're from, but why don't you tell me a little bit about your like career experiences and just kind of what world you're in that led you to better together? Yeah. So cool. I, I have a uh, business degree, uh, undergrad, and then I got my MBA. Um, I, I've worked for an advertising agency, um, for better part of 10 years now. Um, and after, uh, you know, it's, it's fine. It's a, it's a gig and it, but it's not exactly what I wanted to do. Um, it's not where my real, real passion lies. So, uh, a couple of years back, I uh, had had an idea um, about something, you know, I'm constantly thinking about sports, sports betting, fantasy sports um, and seeing what's out there and, and you know, um, and what's not out there as well. And so um, one of the things that I, I realized, uh, you know, after trying to to, to find something similar to, so sorry, let me go back. I also played sports growing up, team sports my whole life. Um, and so I think that's kind of a uh, integral part of, uh, of, of my life and, and something that, you know, as you get older and age out of uh, really being active and playing team sports, it's kind of really hard to find um, yeah. things that, that can fill that gap. And so, you know, a lot of times I would play you know, video games with friends, or I would play, you know, co-manage fantasy leagues to give me that kind of, um, 
you know, that that feeling, the camaraderie of of doing something together in a in a team fashion. And so that was really where the uh, the idea came, where I, I was missing that. And and you can you know talk to your friends. We have group chats and we have uh, leagues and and stuff where you're main, maintaining communication with them. But there's no real uh, and from what I've seen, no real way to actively um, participate together and, and get that team, that sense of team. So that was where the the uh, impetus for creating better together came was there was a, a, a void in the market as far as I can tell. And, and that doesn't, that's not out there. And so rather than wait for someone else to come along and, and try to do it, I decided I would be the one to try to build it by its horns and make it happen right that's I mean, what we're doing that's what entrepreneurs do that's amazing what sports did you play i said you played some sports growing up yeah so i played soccer for a long time in my early childhood and then i, I started playing football in middle school i actually played with my uh, co-founder in middle school and then we played together in high school played for a year in college played lacrosse did rowing wrestling oh, wow. i was year-round playing some sport some of those individual sports but but majority of them were were team sports and so that was really just a huge part of my life you know yeah all along so good yeah it's another another soapbox of mine i could get on for a long time the kids these days don't play enough sports right they play they they really pigeonhole themselves into one and being like an expert at this sport and it's like i think there's so much value in playing a lot of them even if you're not great at all of them just playing them under especially as a kid right get out yeah yeah you talk about that all day but a lot of transferable skills from one sport that you may not necessarily think yeah you never know what you're gonna be end up being good at or you know love more as you get older and things of that nature so now it's golf that's all i got left for there you me. go that's all we yeah it's the best <laughs> but uh yeah i wish i had played started that at a younger age my goal is to oh, yeah get one of my two kids into it. So. There you go. Yeah, that's a good sport to get the kid into because you can enjoy it with them. Exactly. exactly. I'll be taking them to practice. There you go. Well, cool. Awesome. Well, thank you for that background. And so let's dive into Better Together. Uh, what a great name, first of all, for even for not a sports co- uh, company, right? A Better better Together. We are. It's Better Together, you say, right on the homepage of your website. So why don't you tell us a little bit about what you guys are up to, what challenge that you saw, what gap that you saw that you guys are or that you are solving for people and just give us that give us that five minute elevator pitch of what the heck you guys are doing here. Absolutely. Yeah. So kind of alluded to it a little bit, but really it's we're we're trying to be the first cooperative daily fantasy platform. So, Mm -hmm. you know, like I said, I'm constantly talking with my friends about, you know, what bets do you like here in Michigan? Sports betting is legal, but what bets do you like? What fantasy plays do you like? What players do you like? Uh, I'm in a bunch of season long leagues. I do DFS all the time. Always trying to get that edge by, you know, talking with your friends, seeing what, uh, you know, what, what information they're, they're doing their research and what they're getting. And then, you know, assuming you'll, you'll be better when you're, when you're together. So, um, (laughs) What one and and I do a lot of uh, uh, co-managed uh, season-long fantasy leagues as well. So I find that that just has given me a slight edge. I've won a few leagues of late. So um, you know that's and and that's what is I think really missing um, from the the DFS market today. Everyone can you know everyone has their not everyone but a lot of people have a similar pretty similar offering. It started out with. DraftKings and FanDuel with just the, you know, enter a lineup and then all the pick em style um, contests came in. But, you know, I think they're all great. I, I love playing them. I participate. Um, but it, it is really a, a solo venture out there. Um, you know, you have to do the work on the back end uh, to, to have your group chats and talk with your friends about, you know, what, what you like. But um, you really can't uh, both be in on uh, those those same bets together, um, unless you both place the same bet or, or make the same lineup, but you, you're not winning as as a team. And so, as I mentioned, playing team sports my whole life, trying to get that that feeling back, the sense of camaraderie of you know doing something together. And so, what we what we offer is a a, a way to do that, and that is, uh, you know, you and a friend or a stranger, but I think mostly to be you and a friend yeah, both yeah. join a contest, team up. You're uh, given a uh, each team starts with a bankroll. Everyone in that contest all starts with the same bankroll, and then you can make your uh, use that to make 
a bunch of as many as you would like or as few as you would like uh, player prop picks. So you you allocate that bankroll based on, um, you know, odds of uh, a certain player prop markets. Um, and then your aggregate team score um, at the end is combined to to determine your position on, on the leaderboard. In addition to that, you know, we have a chat functionality within so you can chat with your, your teammate, your partner uh, in that specific contest. Who do you like? What, who don't you like? What, what do you, you know, what, what picks are you making? Um, and, and then we added a, a little bonus wrinkle here where uh, you can use odds boost just like you would in, you know, a lot of your um, uh, uh, sports books, uh, okay. but you can use odds boost as a, when you, as a team, when you bet together. So you, you get a 25, 50, 75 and hundred percent odds boost for the, the, picks that you and your partner both like. So, you know, we're putting, uh, applying strategy to the mm -hmm. game as well. So, you know, you can get Tyreek Hill over 99.5 yards boosted when you are both in on, on the same pick. And so, mm -hmm. you know, it's a, it, we have in-game and pre-game markets available as well. So it's a fully immersive contest. It's not just set your lineup and then pray for the best at the end. Strategy comes into play as well in terms of, you know, you can save some for the end and, and try to try to game the the odds markets or use it all up front. It's up. It's really up to you and your partner. So I, I think that's um, makes it a lot more fun where it's not hoping for the best at the end. And, and it's another way to differentiate your picks from uh, your competitors, other teams of, of two in that contest. Yeah. So that's amazing, by the way. I mean, a really cool concept. And I think, you know, yeah, it definitely is more fun playing and, and talking. And we're all talking about this stuff. Actually, a lot of times when I'm talking to all my friends about fantasy, I'm like, oh, everybody likes that one. I'm taking this one the opposite yes. over here. I talk to them to get what not to take if they're yeah. all doing something. But regardless of that, two follow-up questions from that. And you kind of alluded to this a couple of times as you talked, but just as my mind was going through it, one, is it always teams of two or can you have bit bigger teams? Yeah. So right now that's where we are. Teams of two. We're starting out. We uh, launched, uh, we, we got in the app stores earlier this year, um, but we're, we're really primed for the NFL season. That's kind of what we're, we're focused on. So um, early on where we're trying to just, you know, get the, get our concept out there and, and get, get some additional players and users on, on the app right now, we're starting with teams of two, uh, definitely long, long-term or, uh, down the line would like to expand that, make it a little more customizable. I liken it to golf as well. You know, you're in a two man scramble, four man scramble, um, or even playing video games, you're, you're, you're playing call of duty or anything like that, where you're partnered up and you can vary that team size, but then you'll be competing against, you know, equal, equal size teams. But right now, just teams of two as we're initially launching. Yeah. And then the second question, more from a playability and in, in the product side. Um, so you mentioned, so every player on the team, both players on the team actually still are responsible for setting their own lineup. That's correct, right? You guys just talk about it. It's not like you have one team lineup that you're both responsible for setting. So it's actually not a lineup. It's it's really we're we're kind of blending everything that you've seen in in the fantasy space. Okay. So it's contest style or pool style contests where everyone pays an entry fee, or you can play for free. We have the Got free it. to play as well. Oh, cool. Um, and then based on that entry fee, you get a bankroll, is what yep. we called it, but akin to a salary cap. Um, and then you're you're managing that bankroll to try to maximize it by the end by making player prop picks. So over yep. under on yardage, yep. touchdowns, yep. any any uh, available wagers, and so you can you can bet as little as the of your each player gets uh, five thousand. Each player does still set their own card or their own experience, yep. but you guys are have a little interface to like talk about it and figure it out. But at the end of the day, I'm still responsible. Even if you're telling me as my partner, oh, I wouldn't do that one. I'm still responsible. But these scores are going into your team. Correct. Totally. Yeah. So if you're blowing it and I'm doing awesome, you know, I'll, I'll pick you up when you're down and you'll pick me up yeah. when I'm down. Um, and, and then, yeah, the, you don't the have to come to a like, oh, we have to do this on our lineup or our card. 
Correct. It's still my decision on what I do, but I got to, okay, got it. Both players need to agree on, on using those balances, uh, uh, using those odds boosts. So if got I it, like something, it. I would propose it to you, you cool. would get a notification and yep. then accept. And so we both make that exact same yeah. uh, pick and now we're in it together. And you know, you're, uh, yeah, that's cool. getting those, that odds boost, getting the better return yeah. on, uh, that one specific pick or those four specific picks, assuming you, you used all your boosts that you're, you're competing together on those and it's an aggregate score. So you make your own picks. I make my own picks, but our combined output is, you know, where we rank as a team. Cool. Love it. Love it. I love it. It's a really cool concept. Let's move on to like more of the business side though. So where do you guys add in a, I guess a product life cycle of where you're at with the product? I mean, are you launched? Are you live? Yeah. Are you We're available in, in, uh, Google Play and and uh, Apple App Store, we um, we have a we can offer we offer pay to play contests in four states: Illinois, Florida, Texas, and California. And we have free to play in uh, all fifty states. So um, you know we're again we're we're really early on. Like I said, we had uh, launched. We got a, uh, approved in the app stores in. Uh, end of last year, early this year, it, it happened uh, in one in 2023, one in 2024. Um, but I think we're, we're really primed for the NFL season. So this is our, our first, um, you know, real, real NFL season with, uh, we'll have live contests and we'll, we'll be out and about um, getting ready for users. Um, we've we've recently partnered with SCCG management in their managed service um, uh, offering. So we're hoping that they can help, you know, make some connections and, and make some recommendations and kind of further flesh out our, uh, our, our plans and, and help us take it to market and, and maybe explore other opportunities in, in other states or other countries, or, you know, we'll, we'll see what, what, what they think as well. Um, but yeah, early, early, uh, early on, and, and we're just trying to make a name for ourselves and, and give people a, a, a different option out there good. so good yeah it's, uh, for some reason you're, you're bringing up a lot of soapboxes for me when you started listing the states you, you listed florida and i'm like sitting here i can't believe the position we're in as consumers where we got to like literally think what we can play and what we can't play like wait i'm in florida and i can play i can't play underdog or price picks but i can play better together but i can't bet well wait now i can bet then i can't bet it's like as consumers we're really like screwing it up or like the business world is screwing it up for consumers. They have no idea what they can and can't do, what's legal, what's not legal. It's it's absolutely mind blowing to me how horrible it's as a business owner as well, trying to figure it out, trying to navigate that with with no real legal background. So, you know that I'm sure that's a challenge, right? That and is definitely a challenge. The challenges, but you want you touch on that now. I'm sure that's a big challenge, right? The whole um, just regulation around the space is just crazy. Yeah, trying to stay on top of it, um, you, you know, getting legal opinions and uh, proving the concept. And so, yeah, it's uh, it's definitely something that, you know, you know, there's a ton of different things that you have to deal with every day as a founder. And so, um, you know, that's something that I I wouldn't say I wasn't prepared for. I knew you know, that. You, uh, a, you know, regulated um, Yeah industry like this that there are going to be those challenges but yeah that's just another thing that we have to constantly um you know yeah. be aware of and navigate it. yeah for sure educate myself on and and then you have to trust someone else and and uh figure out who, who you can work with and so yeah, yeah. Was, you know that kind of leads me into where i like to go at this time of the show typically and just talk a little bit more about just the entrepreneurial side and the business side and you seem like a, a pretty laid back uh, type of entrepreneur, which, you know, all entrepreneurs are different in their own way. And, uh, you know, uh, I'd love to hear from your perspective. I mean, obviously, we just talked a little bit about the regulation side, so we can maybe touch on something different. But from a pure business side and starting up a company from scratch and navigating, I mean, it sounds like you got some companies helping you with some different things and all the above. But What's just one of the challenges that maybe you weren't quite expecting? I know the regulatory was one, but I don't know. Just one of the challenges that you were or weren't expecting that you've faced over the last year or so here uh, putting this all together. Yeah. So I, I think one of the most 
difficult things, especially non-technical. Uh, I'm not a non-technical founder, so I, I don't do any of the development of the work. So, you know, I think one one thing is, um, you know, finding people who can bring your vision to life and, and uh, you know, where I can't, you know, I can, I can monitor the progress, but I, I have no real hand in it. So I think finding good partners and, and being able to trust who, who you're working with, that they're going to act on your uh, vision and, and bring it to life in the way that you, you want it to make the changes that you request, because there's constantly changes that are, that are ongoing. And so some of the development work we've had to redo because people that we had contracted with couldn't um, deliver what they promised they could deliver. So it's like, you know, as you go, you're, you're constantly making missteps and they're expensive, costly missteps and it, it sucks, but you got to bite the bullet and, and keep moving on. And you can't let a couple setbacks here, here knock you down because that's going to happen every day. So I think for, for me, one of the most difficult parts has been really just trusting some trusting someone else to to bring it to life on my behalf and then there there are risks involved and you try to take the most calculated risks you can and they don't always all work um but keeping you know vision forward and, and you know trying to to move on and figure out a way you know we've spent a lot of money developing it one way and then had to be kind of reconfigured completely on the back end. It's kind of like doing, you know, foundational work to your house where you don't really see that value or, or the, the, you don't, you know, you don't feel that value. It's not like you got a brand new kitchen or a brand new something else, but structurally and, and foundationally the, the house is sound and that's where we need to do, that's what we need to do with the app. And that's to ensure that, you know, we're getting the data feeds that we need and it's uh, getting the, the, um, bringing the product the, exactly what we want rather than settling for, you know, a uh, half, half version of what we're wanting. Well, thank you for sharing that. I appreciate that. It's never, never fun to talk about challenges, but always the realistic view of where yeah. you're at as entrepreneurs. So um, it's the reality. It's the reality. Yeah, absolutely. Well, we've got a few more minutes here, uh, Mark. Um, what, let me ask, what are you guys needing? What are you looking for? What, where are you lacking? Uh, maybe the audience, maybe somebody in the audience yeah. can actually help you guys or has advice for you guys. Um, I don't know. What, what are you looking for here over the, the coming seasons? Yeah. So, I mean, we, we've proved uh, early on, you know, I started this idea with a spreadsheet and using lines from uh, an Excel spreadsheet that I turned into a Google sheet so I could have people participate remotely because I know, you know, a lot of times people aren't all together and, and we wanted to try to um, create that experience. So, you know, we have, we've proved concept with groups of friends and, and a few, uh, you know, friends of friends and everyone who's played it has enjoyed it. I've gotten people who, who don't participate in uh, fantasy much or, or sports betting much. They tried it out and, and they liked it, I think. Um, so what we're trying to do now is just prove concept on, on a larger scale. And so, you know, what we need now is to to get this in front of as many people as possible and yeah. see see if it's, you know, a, a fit in the wider um, industry than just, you know, you know, friends and family. So and friends of friends. So yeah, yeah we're, we're just trying to get the, the name out there and get some users. So that that's where we're, we're starting proven concept and um, ensuring that you know this this can scale uh, yep. finding ways to to, to grow and, and scale it amazing so if people did want to check it out wanted to play obviously it's on the app store give us all the give us all the places to one find it two maybe to contact you if they have ideas yep. or interest in, in chatting with you guys give it's, us uh, we'll list it in the show notes but go ahead and yeah so out. Uh, bettertogether.co is a website. It's just really informational background. You can download it at either of the app stores there. It's at uh, on Google Play and uh, Apple App Store. Um, it is a mobile app completely. We don't have a web-based interface, so yeah. it's all, all mobile app. And if you have any um, questions, you can reach out to me at uh, mark at bettertogether.co or um, we have an info at bettertogether.co is a, a support. Um, inbox and for those listening and not watching that is better bet b-e-t-t-o-r -T 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 yeah so just uh in case you're on words but yeah. i think it explains who, who who we are and what we're what we're yeah. all about winning uh, 
Love it. Love it. Well, yeah, Mark, it is better together. It is better together. Absolutely. Well, really good to chat with you, Mark. I really appreciate you coming on here. Uh, any last words, anything we forgot to talk about that you want to make sure we, uh, we spoke about? No, I really appreciate your time. Uh, really looking forward to the NFL season. Um, please go check it out. Uh, bring, bring your friends. And yeah, I, I think it's a, uh, I think it'll be a lot of fun for everyone. Very cool. Awesome. Well, appreciate you being here. Take care. Good luck with this season and uh, we'll keep in touch and talk to you soon. Thank you. All right, Mark. Have a good one. All right. That was Mark Sanzik of Better Together. Thank you so much for being here, Mark. That was amazing. Really uh, appreciate all you guys tuning in. 229 episodes. Every time I say that number, it just is like, I've really done 229 of these things. That's crazy. And it just, it, it's, it's been a lot of fun to get to know people like Mark and, and others in the industry and really just learn um, about what they're doing to help this uh, crazy uh, get gaming and sports and sports business and all the people that are in here doing awesome things to just help move and push the needle forward in this business uh, that we're all in. So really cool, really amazing stuff. Um, I think that's it for episode 229. So thank you for being here again. SBC summit Lisbon uh, is late September. Uh, make sure you use that new partner VIP. If you need tickets, other than that, I'm Ryan Newpool. You can find me out on all the channels uh, or connect with me on LinkedIn. Be happy to chat with you about anything in sports or business. Uh, I'm easy to talk to. So really appreciate you all. Have a good one. Take care. We'll talk to you soon. Till the next one. Bye-bye.